Hey, what is going on guys? It's Crimson Pharaoh. Welcome back to episode 11, I think it is, of the Beginner's Guide series. And all week I've been working on these guys. I've been working on making a Rift Raid team. Uh, more specifically for R4, but if I could do R5, that'd be great. I'll show you guys the team now. Uh, or well, I want to show you guys this first. This is what it looks like to have 24 four star level 30 monsters. I have one rainbow mon, so I needed to make 24 of them so that I can make five six star monsters. It'll be these five right here. These five are all for Rift Raid. This is for, this can work in Rift Raid. Bella can actually work, but it, more for uh, Guild Wars, actually. Like, <laughs> Bella's in my giant, or my dragons team, so it's funny that I'm like more concerned about getting her up to do Guild War content, but like, she's actually really good in Guild War at the beginning of the game, and uh, obviously in my dragons team at the moment, but really it's it's more for guild wars because these this is going to be this is going to take over dragons the moment that I can get the grinds and the gems that I need to make their runes work. So that's all that there. This is what I ended with for defense. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, the accuracy is good. The speed is obviously much lower than what you see in the guides, but I can just make Verd faster maybe. Like it'll it'll work out. I'm it's I don't know I'm not worried about the speed thing, but the accuracy is good on them and Vert will get the damage he needs. So yeah. Um, anyway, these are I'll go through these two. These are built uh, violent speed HP defense. Speed HP defense on Konamiya. You want as much speed as possible. You want more than this. You want like 200 and I'd say 210 speed is good. I think you're basically at a 210. I'm sitting at what, 178? Um, so that's a little unfortunate, but... Yep, and then uh, Colleen here is actually pretty solid. You know, 181, not bad at all. Um, good resistance, just totally fine. You only need 18% accuracy in here. She's speed, HP, and HP. She's a backline unit. And he is sitting here. More resistance would be great. I shouldn't need 91% resistance, but... Um, there's a lot of people that don't have resistance leads, and I need to make sure that my team survives and works and does what it's supposed to. If I could get, if I, so I'm going to make a Rift Raid video later on, but if, if there's people watching this video that are trying to do R4 and you have a, a legitimate team together, definitely add me, or if you already have me added, message me in game, tell me, you know, hey, um, I'm looking to do that too, if that's what you're looking to do, so I can get a kind of a team going in that I have people in there that know what they're doing because there's so many people in public raids that don't bring stuff that make any sense. Um, but yeah, if I get a team together, that'd be awesome. Um, I love for him to be faster, have more resistance, um, but he's um, not quite maxed at HP defense. Defense, if I was thinking about taking the fight set off and just putting on another endure set, might still do that, um, but yeah. Darian is very basic. You want resistance on him if you can get it, but actually you need resistance uh, because he this can get oblivion. You can lose this passive, which is the whole reason for him being there. He does debuffs too, so you want 15% accuracy once again. You want 15% accuracy at least on stuff. Um, but yeah, um, you definitely you don't want him getting oblivion because he's got that. This is the whole reason he's here is to for your team to take less damage. Um, but again, just a frontline unit, uh, very simple. He's a good holder for determination or fight runes because he's just he's just a good holder for determination or fight runes, really. So is so is uh, Seung Fei, Colleen, like the supports. Like you, Konamiya needs violent for sure to cleanse more. Seung Fei has a cleanse, um, but you're more concerned about him tanking stuff and having resistance, and because you can throw Konamiya on the back line. Um, and then Crow and Lauren are the other two units on the team. Um, I'm going to fix his runes. I'm going to make this look a lot better for Rift Raid. Lower speed, higher attack, um, higher crit damage. But yeah, lower lower accuracy, higher crit damage, less speed, more attack. Like s Switching some things in and out. And he'll be doing a lot, lot more damage. And then Lauren, I'm not going to change at all. I don't care what happens to her. She's just there because I don't have Hua. 
I don't have Hua. This leader skill works if someone else has the Fire Panda and doesn't seem to have any other leader skill. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, so that's basically it for this. I mean, I'm just farming. Literally all I'm doing is farming fodder right now in Scenario. I should probably... I'll put that on in a second. I want to show you guys a Rift Raid thing before I hop off just to show you guys the progress that I have made. If I can do our four, if I can get into a party here, that'd be nice. I don't know that I'll be able to. Um. Okay. We can do our three. Yeah, we can just do our three and I'll show you guys how the team works. Um. I'd like to show off R4 to show that when you have runes that make sense, units that make sense, you can make things happen. Uh, I don't know what he does, but you definitely don't need 92% accuracy and 158 speed in R3. I mean... That's different. Alright, hopefully we'll get someone here quick and... He's got pretty decent runes, actually. I'm, on, I'm like more interested in this guy's <laughs> this guy's runes than showing my own team right now, because it's so weird to see a dark pioneer like there. It's an LD, so it's obviously very rare. But so this team, will, I put the debuffs up already. I have 100% of the assist. The brand is up for me. I mean keeping the, the attack bar down, because they all have different attack bars in raid as well, so keeping the attack bar down is nice, putting up even more debuffs, but it, they're just going to get swept off because it's jumping up now. Um, so they come down, this is like the highest damage. This should be the highest damage of the whole run right here. God, Colleen already has that skill up. So the assist is, the assist is now even. The damage is... I, I'm low on damage. I've just got one damage dealer. So, can we get a cleanse here? Very nice. So, Konamiya cleanses the entire team. Everything's gone. It's going to come in. That's, you know, that damage is of no concern. You keep getting these different things up. And, I mean, it just uh, works well. It'd be awesome if this thing would want to research, you know, Crow. Get the brand off, that's good. The assist is there. The damage, again, is not super high because all I have is Crow, but like, you know, I'm doing what I need to there. 37%, I'm doing my third of the chunk. He, Young Fei comes in and cleanses right there at the end, but again, that second skill can cleanse any time. And this worked basically perfectly for my team. Um, you know, totally a five-star team. This is R3. So not the most difficult. 39% of the contribution. This guy's running SIG and... Is that a tattoo? I'm going to exit out of here real quick, but I think that's... Oh, Shannon. Okay, Veramos doesn't make a ton of sense. Camila doesn't make any sense. SIG, the, H, the max HP damage doesn't work. At least Shannon does debuffs and buffs. Bella does some stuff too. Aragard does debuffs and different things but like this doesn't make a ton of sense like that team and that's why his contribution is the lowest like because he's running i'm sure they're both running all six stars these are all six star teams and i'm you know literally four or five stars in my team and i'm sitting at the top of total right now damage is the lowest but i've got the most assisting my team is doing what it needs to do here um, unfortunately, everything got stunned. That, that just happens sometimes. It is what it is. Um, this young Fei on Violent is great. But, yeah, I mean... When they're more tanky, it'll work a little better, too. Konami really needs to be faster. That's yeah, that's a pretty serious issue. Konami has got to be faster. But, anyway, yeah. I'll 43% now, like... You know, hopefully this is proof enough. I'm just going to get out of here now. Hopefully this is proof enough that when your team makes sense and stuff, like, no, I got to get out of here. When your team makes sense, 
uh, and your runes make sense, you'll have success. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on. These are both just awful, but I'll keep them anyway. So yeah, anyway, I think that's basically it for this video. Just farming as much stuff up as possible, getting the raid team going. When I get that going, I want to do R4, R5 if I can, but most likely R4. Um, get all the grinds and gems I need for Tricaru, and I'll get back in dragons. I'll get better violent runes for Kona and this young Fey. Get better violent runes in general, and it'll be that'll be a good deal when I can get that Tricaru team running because. You need the runes to get into raid, and you need the the rift raid to get teams that are better for dungeons. And so, yep, kind of a balancing act, but it's uh it's not too bad. So, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. That'll be a rift raid video, and thank you guys for watching.